Hi guys, I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Today or this morning I'm in a little bit of a rush, so I thought what better time than now to show you my five minute makeup routine. I've pretty much honed the skill, I like to think, of getting ready in a rush. Some days I just don't want to spend too much time on makeup because I've got other things to be doing and some days I'm just in a rush, like I need to get out of the house, I never leave myself enough time. So yeah, pretty much got my five minute makeup routine down to a T. So I thought I would share that with you today. Little disclaimer, the lighting is disgusting, it's pretty much dark outside so I'm relying on my lamps. So um, yeah, Makeup Free Josie is rather scary, so prepare yourselves for that. But I hope you guys find this useful. No more rambling, let's get started with my five minute makeup routine. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue and this is a really great multitasker because it is pore minimising and also mattifying so you can skip the moisturiser because this just gives your skin the moisture that it needs um, and mattifies it ready for the makeup so I'm just going to loosely spread that using my fingers onto my face. And then I'm going in with the Bourjois City Radiance Brightening Effect Foundation and the reason why I'm choosing this one today is just because it's very very quick to blend. So again just dotting it onto the areas that need some coverage. On some days I probably just use concealer but because I'm quite red and patchy as you can see I definitely need foundation today. And I'm just using the Zoeva 206 silk finish brush to blend this all in. So you can see that that went on really really quickly and in fact I do want a little bit more coverage on the cheeks and I think I've just about got time but I'm just going to use a little bit more of the same bourgeois just again pat it again on the cheeks and whatever's left on the chin and I've got to make sure I blend it down into the neck as well because I have been using a little bit of fake tan recently and definitely don't want to be left with any tied lines. So because this stuff is really blendable, it's perfect for days when you're in a rush because you can just keep on adding it if you're not happy with the finish. Make sure you blend it down the chin, don't forget that bit even if you're rushing. And next from the same range I'm going to use the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. I think this is a really, really good um, drugstore concealer. It definitely rivals NARS and by Terry and all those other concealers I've been loving. And again, what makes it great for mornings like this is that it's just super duper easy and quick to blend in. So I just applied it with the applicator. And now, just using my finger to tap the majority of it in before I go back in with the Zoeva brush. I'm also going to put some up here. And then on my chin as well, just because it needs a little bit more coverage. And then wherever it is, this brush, so we don't have too many to clean or to find when you're in a rush. Um, just using the same brush to pat that all in. And by the way, I already put some serum on before I started this, but I skipped the moisturiser because we didn't have time for that to sink in. And because I'm still looking a little bit shiny, I'm going to go in with some powder just to set the makeup in place, but also stop it sliding um, around for the rest of the day. And I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder, just tapping off the excess, patting it on the different areas, and then just really quickly blending it in. And this is the brush that it came with, I think it's just called the Tarte Kabuki brush. I'll leave it down below if that's not right, or so I'll leave everything down below anyway. But as you can see this really quickly just kind of instantly mattifies the skin, which is exactly what we need. And because I wouldn't leave the house without doing my eyebrows, the next thing I'm going to do is just fill them in quite loosely and quickly, um, just using the natural brow shape, and I'm filling them in with my Urban Decay Brow Beater. I find this so quick and easy to use, I just draw a line underneath my brows, and then fill in any gaps, which I have quite a few of just at the beginning here. And if you get a pencil that's as close as possible to your natural brow colour, then it won't be too much of a drama, if you do it a little bit messily like I'm doing now. And there's also a spoolie in the other end so you can just smooth them out and check that you've got a good shape. And it only takes a couple of seconds to put some brow gel through so I'm using Benefit Gimme Brow just to add a little bit more of that much needed volume to the brows and also to set them in place a little bit better. So in a couple of seconds the brows are done. And next I'm going to grab my Naked Smoky palette and I'm going to use some quite natural shades. Um, not that one, I'm going to use Combust and the one next to it which is Whiskey, just to use a really basic, um, very very quick smoky eye. So I'm using Combust, which is a lighter shade all over the lid. 
And I'm just using the brush that came in the palette because I don't have time to look for another one. So the lighter shade is going just all over the lid. I'm not being precise at all here. And then I'm going to really lightly tap the brush on the whiskey shade just to use in the crease because I find that gives the eye just a little bit more definition. And then keeping the eye open, I'm just using um, the brush in like a semi-circle kind of shape on the crease of the eyelid. And then I'm just going to blend like crazy just to make sure that it's all fully blended and we don't have any weird shapes going on. These shadows are great because they really do blend in seconds, so it's perfect for those mornings when you don't have ages and ages to build a perfect smoky eye. And for eyeliner, I find the L'Oreal Super Liner really quick and easy to use just because it's so thin. The nib is really, really fine, so I find it super quick just to draw a quick line on the actual lash line. So I'm not going to be too precise, just keeping it really, really close to the lash line. And bring it out into a little cat flick because it always makes me feel as though my makeup's a little bit more done if I've got a cat flick. Okay, did a little bit too much on that eye, but never mind, you'll hide it with mascara. And because I don't have time to curl my lashes, I'm gonna use Benefit Roller Lash. I have this mini one which I keep in my gym bag, which is usually where I am doing my speedy makeup, and this really does curl the lashes as well as separate them, so a good mascara to use if you don't have time to curl your lashes. So I'm just gonna wiggle it really, really close to the, um, eyelid and pull it out revealing nice fluttery lashes. I find that often only one coat of this is enough as well so again great in those time saving circumstances. And I'm not going to put any on my bottom lashes because firstly I don't have time and secondly if I'm rushing then I'm probably tired as well and it does tend to make the eyes look a little bit wider if you leave out the bottom lashes. And then second to last step I'm just going to give my face a little bit of shape with some bronzer and I'm using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess just because I know this one um, is not going to turn me orange and I can just really quickly bring some shape into the face. So I'm going to start by doing a kind of a contour shape just on the cheekbones and then that figure of three movement to bring some shape into the forehead and under the chin. So you can see it's a really natural colour, so even though I'm rushing and not being too careful, I'm not at risk of going orange, which is a bonus. Bring it down to the neck. And if you use this kind of pouting action, then it almost acts as a contour as well, so you're killing two birds with one stone with that movement. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzing brush. And then finally, just to complete the look, I'm going to use a very safe option for lipstick, which is my favourite by Beauty Matte Lip Creme Lip Crayon in the shade Amaretto. And this is kind of like a foolproof lipstick. I know that the shade suits every makeup look, and because of the quite precise bullet applicator, it's really quick and easy to use. Because it's quite fine, you can almost line the lips with it, and then fill them in. Quite hard trying to talk when you're doing a your lipstick. <laughs> And we're done! So that is it! This is the finished look. I don't think we've done too badly given the time restraints. The eyes are probably not as precise as I would have liked them to have been. This one has a lot more eyeliner on it than the other one and um, yeah. But we do what we can in five minutes. As I said, I have created this look quite a few times. It's almost my everyday makeup routine, but in a little bit more of a hurry than I would normally do. By no means do you have to do all of these things. If you feel like you can leave the house without bronzer, without lipstick, without doing shading in your eyes, then be my guest. But for me personally, this is what I like to do on a daily basis when I'm leaving the house or going to work or anything like that. This, for me, is the minimum that I can do on my face without feeling like an absolute God knows what. <laughs> so hopefully you've picked up a few little tips and tricks of ways for multitasking your makeup or getting your makeup done in a little bit more of a hurry, whether you're rushing to school, rushing to work, or you just don't want to be spending too long doing your makeup. I'd say my top tips are make sure you're using products that you're really familiar with. For me, the bronzer, oh, <laughs> having a bronzer that I'm really familiar with the colour and I know that it's not going to look too orangey is really, really crucial. And also with the lip colour, I know that I can't go wrong with this one. It's my fail safe lip colour which you'll know if you watch my top 10 2015 beauty products. So for me having products that I know really well just means I can be very quick when it comes to doing my makeup. Having a foundation that's really quick and blendable as well is a huge huge time saver, both this and the Rimmel um, 
Match Perfection foundation are really, really easy to blend and having a decent blending brush definitely helps as well. Of course, prepping your skin is really, really crucial when it comes to doing your makeup in a rush. There's no point in skipping out your skincare routine altogether because you'll find that your makeup just doesn't sit in place. It will probably take you longer than if you had done a skincare routine in the first place. So I definitely would recommend not skipping out the cleansing um, part of your routine, but you can skip out the moisturizer if you have a primer or maybe even a BB cream that does that step for you. Hopefully you found this useful guys and have enjoyed this little five minute makeup routine. If you have, then you can always give this video a thumbs up as you know, and subscribe if you're new to this channel, you guys know the drill. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm gonna dash off now, so I shall see you in my next one. Bye bye.